Welcome to TRS Clips, where you'll find happiness through your own curiosity. I have some difficulty with Mr. Modi too, but it hasn't gone to, it hasn't flared up like it flared up with Mr. Vajpayee. Okay. What's the difficulty with uh, PM Modi? He tells lies. For instance, he says that nobody has come from China into our territory, which is a lie. He, he claims credit for people who, who have done the work and he says, no, no, he has done it like Ram Mandir. He had no contribution in, in doing anything about getting the Supreme Court to clear the Ram Mandir project. It was I who did it. But uh, he very brazenly kept me out of all the functions and uh, um, said that he did it and he got all your new, new media and all that to just to recite it. And so, that, I mean, there's been a lot of dishonesty on his part, which is very disappointing. Have you had an interaction with him fairly recently? No, not recently. For a long time. I would say from since 2020, I have no interaction with him. What did you speak about in 2020? Earlier on, it was economic policy. What wrong is going on? What, how you should, um, how you should uh, correct this, uh, the direction? What, what we need to do in dealing with China? So many other factors. Um, so they were all. Uh, he also once uh, wanted me to head the BRICS Bank for those five countries which came together, um, you know, to be known as BRICS. B standing for uh, something, R standing for uh, Brazil, Russia, Russia and like India. that. Huh? But I declined. I told him I left Harvard to come to India. I'm not going to leave India. I'm going to stay here. So I want, he was very insistent. Maybe he wanted me out of India, maybe. <laughs> Do people in political positions of power, specifically like the cabinet or the top of the world of politics, I'm also talking about the opposition. In your experience, does everyone take feedback or it depends totally on the human being? No, it depends on how, uh, if, if today's cabinet, I might say perhaps uh, one or two I can exempt. But they, all the others, they are picked up because they would be a pussycat. Because they won't have a spine. They are not people who are, uh, you know, in, uh, entitled to become ministers. Modi has selected such people. So what do you expect from them? They will never do anything which annoys Modi. They'll always be looking to see what he wants and they will only act if he tells them act like this. But according to you, there are two or three names who are... Two. And you can't name them. I can name them. One is uh, Rajnath and the other is uh, Ghatkari. These two people, they can stand up. But then, uh, alo alone, how much can they do? Stand up as in what, sir? They, they can speak up, frankly. If, say, this can't be done, this can't be done. If they believe something is going wrong. Yeah. Okay. They're capable, but they are not listened to. Have you heard of instances where they've tried to speak up? Yes, I have. I mean, not publicly. And that uh, perhaps is because of the discipline of the RSS system, which is very strong. Uh, they um, uh, they have spoken, but in, in private. And they've told me about it. Do you sense healthy team spirit? At the moment, there's no healthy team spirit. It's a Modi and then uh, uh, it's Sancho Panza. Uh, you know what Sancho Panza is? No, Robinson Crusoe. You'll have to. I know Robinson Crusoe, <laughs> okay. but I've never heard of that Man, one. Man Friday. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Mo Mo Amit Shah. And the rest is all, uh, you know, they have to obey. Have you interacted with Amit Shah? No, no need to. Never? He, he's not, no, there's no point. I know what he has done in Gujarat and I don't think I want to meet him. Um, would you like to see a podcast with them? With PM Modi and Amit Shah? If you arrange, I'll definitely come. Okay, I'll, I'll give you my very um, innocent and perhaps amateur and perhaps novice reading of the situation. Uh, my personal angle is I feel traditional journalism in a lot of cases approaches these kind of interactions in a very combative manner rather than from a curious and uh, seeking oriented manner. And I'm sure you're feeling a sense of that right now as we are speaking. It's just open. 
Uh, yeah, you're different. That much I certainly have felt. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, I I personally believe everyone should be allowed to express their nuanced opinion. You know, everyone shouldn't be allowed to express their opinions just for headlines. Uh, there are a lot of assumptions that people make about yourself, that people make about Amit Shah, that people make about PM Modi, which I feel can be sorted to a large degree if they just <laughs> are able to speak in a civil manner like this, or even if it's a debate. Rather than you guys going on a news channel, y'all should be on the Ranveer show, <laughs> and I should be able to neutrally uh, have you guys at least talk. That's what the youth want. That's what the audience is also want. Sure, wanting. I would definitely be uh, available for that, but these two will not be. Why? You ask them. They don't think that uh, they need this kind of uh, thing at all. They think everybody fall in line, or I mean, I'm the only one who's been allowed to stay so far. You know, I mean, I know that in a politician's journey, there's two aspects: there's governance and administration, and then the other aspect is the elections. Now, the elections are all about gaining more votes. Effectively, gain a person's vote, usually by touching the heart in some way. Fair to say. I think they'd be able to reach out to more people's hearts if they speak openly, because there's a lot of mystery surrounding them right now. in terms of audiences have gotten very very sharp for example we have a hindi podcast as well it's become more difficult for me to conduct the hindi podcast than oh, the yes, english podcast yes i agree with you because the masses have become very interested yeah, yes so i think they should just come out and have a conversation the way you and me are speaking they won't but because by nature they were not brought up on that way how do you compare pm modi's government to the previous government in your eyes because you saw There's nothing to compare because my expectations are higher from pm modi i i am not satisfied that modi is better than sonia gandhi or modi is better than manmohan singh that's why i am not satisfied with that all these efforts i put in in fact mr modi he took all my help when he could and then the moment he became prime minister swami who is that swami you know that kind of mentality he has uh, he's ungrateful but that's not the reason i am only saying that there are so many things that we can do for the sake of the country but he's not doing it he has sold out to the russians he has sold out to the chinese and he makes out as if something bad and there are all these lies that are being spread about uh, uh the, 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 you know the, the nobody has come nobody has gone koi aaya nahi koi gaya nahi that's what he said and somebody said the chinese are come into indian territory hey if you enjoyed today's clip Make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel. You'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it.